Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Dudar with a lesson tutorial for Eureka Module 3, Lesson 4. The objective is count up to 1,000 on the place value chart. Well, one of the things we've been working on is drawing a quick picture to represent hundreds, tens, and ones. We don't always have blocks. And sometimes we have to make a bigger number that would take a long time if we had to draw a bunch of ones or a bunch of tens. So we're going to make it easier. So we have for hundreds, we were using a square because that represents this block here. And we can see that 10 tens makes a hundred. For tens, we were using the stick because this is a 10 and it takes 10 of these to make a hundred. So 10 tens is a hundred. And then for ones, we were doing a dot because it takes 10 dots to make a 10 stick and it, 10 tens makes a hundred how many dots would make a hundred or how many squares. So that's what we're doing. And then we're reusing that information to count on. So we're going to use this to count on from a number up to um, a number that's a little bit less than a thousand. And here we go. We're gonna count, well, this one starts small. Count on from 120 to 210. We're going to use tens only, which means we're only using the sticks. So I want to draw 120 first. So I know that this is 100, and 20 is 110, 120. And I'm going to label it and box it like we were doing in our math workbook. Now, to count up to 210, I first need to look at this and say, well, is this a benchmark number? Yes, it ends in a zero. What would be my next benchmark number? It does need to end in a zero, and I'm thinking it's probably the next 100. So let's count on from 120 to 200 using tens. 130, 140, 150, 160, and as I'm drawing the line, I'm counting, and I'm counting by tens. 170, 180, 190, 200, 210. So I've reached the number that I was asked to reach, and I did that by counting on by tens. So now I have 210. All right, here's the next one to think about. 14 ones. Hmm, 14 ones. 14 ones. Ah, if I have 14 of these, is there a 10 and some ones in this? Well, I can separate that out. And that is one 10, and we have four ones left over. So when you look at this number, that tells you how many tens there are. So there's one 10 and four ones. 10 plus four is 14. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to count on from 276 to 400. Still using our quick picture, uh, quick picture a square for hundreds, a stick for tens, and a dot for ones. 276. When I look at this number, I see it's not a benchmark number. It doesn't end in a zero. So our first job is to get the 76 to a number that ends in zero. And I know after 76, the closest number that ends in a zero is 80. So our job is going to be to get to 280. But let's draw this first. Count with me. 100, 200, 210, 220. 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 271, 272, 
273, 274, 275, 276. And I'm going to draw it and box it. And I'm thinking, again, I need to get to the benchmark number. So the next benchmark number that ends in a zero after 76 is 80. So I'm going to count on with ones until I get to 80. 277, 278, 279, and 280. That's a benchmark number. It's certainly easier to work with zeros. Now I need to go from 280 to 400. Hmm, I want to get to the next benchmark number, which would be 300. Would I use hundreds to get to 300? Would I use tens or would I use ones? Think, what comes after 280 that ends in a zero? And hopefully you said a 10 or 290. And then getting to 300, well, that's just one more 10, so I'm at 300. Well, that's a benchmark number. And to go from 300 to 400, that's just one more 100. So to do that, I'm just going to add a square, and I have reached 400. Now I'm going to give you some to practice at home at the end of this video. All right, last one. This is like number two, 56 ones. How many tens, how many ones? So we're going to decompose it. And how many tens is right there? Five tens. How many ones? Six ones. What is the value of five tens? If I counted five of these, what would I get? And you hopefully you would say 10 20, 30, 40, 50, and you have six ones left over. All right, get ready. I'm going to give you some problems to do. All right, I'm going to cover this up. And what I want you to do is do these problems for me. 150 to 300, use tens. And if you need to pause the video to write this down, go ahead. Number two, count from 144 to 230. Use ones and tens. And the last one will be using whatever you think you need. And number three, last one, is count from um, 317 to 600. And you're going to use ones, tens, and hundreds. All right. Write that down on a piece of paper, and then once you've done, um, you're done writing it down, then you will take that paper and use the instructions from what we did earlier in the video to help you. You can pause the video, write it down, because I'm going to remove this. All right, use that to help you, and be a math magician today.